Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Adam. Today, I'm excited to share with you my thoughts on Dogecoin. Dogecoin is basically a meme cryptocurrency that has received a lot of attention as of late. And this right here is the five day chart of Dogecoin, and it's up by 400%. It traded less than 10 cents per share at the beginning of the week, and it blossomed all the way to 43 cents, basically barking at the moon. And now it's back down to 26 cents and some change. So we're going to talk about whether or not it's a good investment, who its backers are, and what it has in the future. Okay, so you also have to understand that this move in Dogecoin up 310% over the past week makes it the eighth largest crypto by market cap. Okay, uh, close to like a 33 billion market cap and we can see uh, Bitcoin it surpassed 1 trillion and it's 1.1 trillion market cap right now, but it's still the eighth largest crypto, which is ridiculous. Okay. And part of this moves, of course, comes from Tesla CEO, Elon Musk. He's Dogecoin's most important fan. And he released in a tweet, he's like Doge barking at the moon. He also shared a photo of a painting by a Spanish artist, Joan Miro, which is entitled Dog Barking at the Moon. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is a sentimentality going on in the market right now. Okay, we can see that Coinbase went public this week. Uh, right now it has a market cap of 67 billion at 342 US dollars. And there has been a lot of hype and a lot of speculation surrounding Coinbase because it's a platform, of course, where you can sell and trade cryptos. And this basically legitimizes cryptos on Wall Street. Okay, this means that it's basically an accepted form of uh, transactions. Okay. And if you don't already know, Tesla now accepts Bitcoin uh, to buy and sell their cars. Uh, and we can see that there is also an increase in the number of platforms allowing people to buy and sell Bit uh, Dogecoin. One of them is Robinhood. And again, over the past 24 hours, big exchanges such as Binance, OKEX and Huobi. Uh, have basically sponsored this large move in Dogecoin because they allowed, of course, the cryptocurrency Doge to be traded on their exchanges. Okay. Uh, the next thing is Slim Jim, which is the meat maker and recently has had a surge in its Twitter followers because it released a series of tweets promoting Dogecoin and Dogecoin in their products. Okay. Um, so Slim Jim parent company Conagra is releasing a stick of beef based on the meme icon. This new product is set to come out on Tuesday, which is an unofficial Doge Day holiday. <laughs> Plans for the Dogecoin Slim Jim were announced back in March after enough retweets pushed the company to create the product. All of this makes sense as Slim Jim has become one of the first brands to embrace the meme cryptocurrency. And they also gave this crypto a call out during the earnings report that last week. Okay, and he noted that the Slim Jim social media account embracing Dogecoin resulted in an increase in traction during the quarter. They saw like 160% increase in their Twitter following uh, over the past quarter just because they they were tweeting at Dogecoin. <laughs> okay, um, the description for it reads such as home of the long boy gang, such meat, very long boy, much wow. So again, it's just such a meme cryptocurrency and I think it's hilarious, uh, but I do think a lot of investors could potentially get burned. One of the reasons is this crypto Dogecoin have been around for eight years and most of that time it had a maximum value of half a cent. Additionally, 10,000 new Dogecoins are programmed to be issued every minute for the rest of eternity, meaning the value will never hold. So what I'm saying is if the attention of Dogecoin does not increase with the amount of Dogecoin being created, which are 10,000 new units every single minute, that means Dogecoin will eventually fall. Okay. And so this is what I see as the major limitation of Dogecoin. It's not like Bitcoin, which basically is capped at 21 million units of Bitcoin. Okay. Dogecoin is created every single minute, which means it's inflationary, which basically takes away one of the biggest advantages of something like Bitcoin. Okay. So again, what Dogecoin is relying on, and why Dogecoin is, you know, so volatile and, and has had a lot of increasing attention is because of these major backers, Elon Musk, Slim Jim, promoting Dogecoin. Uh, and basically, once 
this meme gets promoted, more people are attracted to it, more people buy in, and it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy where one person talks about Dogecoin, uh, another person decides to buy in, and then it's being basically backed by these large, famous people such as Elon Musk, Slim Jim, uh, and basically creates a self-fulfilling prophecy where more attention results in more buying and the Dogecoin increasing the price causes even more attention to be drawn to Dogecoin, which then creates a further increase in price because of the increased attention. Okay, but again, as soon as the attention wanes, uh, I do think that Dogecoin could potentially take a hit. Okay, but again, that's also what people like about it. People like that it's not a serious crypto, and that's a lot of for a lot of people uh, their first foray into the cryptocurrency world. Okay, another positive news is that Dow broke its highs. The S and P hits a fresh record, uh, and so if there's positive sentiment in the market, that also tends to be positive news for Dogecoin and other cryptos. They tend to go up in unison with the market. Okay, because that is basically a bullish attitude. All right. So again, just be careful. Uh, don't invest money that you are not willing to lose, especially with Dogecoin. There's a lot of much safer investments. As we can see right here, you know, just in the span of when we talked, it was like down by 13%. Now it's down by 15%. Again, it could shoot up easily to back to 43 cents. But again, I would be very skeptical when investing in Dogecoin. Um, but good luck. Let me know what you think of this whole move in Dogecoin, whether or not it's related. Uh, to the overall market sentiment that's going on right now with Coinbase going public and Robinhood allowing trading of Dogecoin. Uh, and thank you for listening. Take care. Have a fantastic. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and also subscribe if you haven't already. As well as feel free to check out a couple of links down below in the description. One is to my free Discord group. Uh, it's growing. It has about like 30 members, as well as a private group where I announce my buys and sells in real time. So for example, on March 30th, I bought Schrodinger stock, which was $68.55. Uh, and then literally a week later, I sold it for $80.02. So in a week, I gained 17% in that stock. The next stock was Kirkland Lake, for example. And right now, Kirkland Lake is trading at $46. And again, we can see my buy price was $40.65. So again, in a week and a half, it gained 14%. Uh, so let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. And finally, if you're Canadian and you want a zero commission trading app, I highly recommend Wealthsimple. Uh, and if you sign up down with the link below, you'll get $10 towards uh, your next trade, okay? But as well, there's a free Discord group where one guy actually announced a penny stock called Fire. Uh, and... It actually went up by 50% before he even announced it, okay, where the cost was around, I think, 26 cents, and then it went up all the way to uh, over 50 cents, okay? So definitely be sure to check that out. Uh, again, take care. Thank you so much. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next.